Good morning rockers, welcome to Rock Painting Workshops. Today we are going to paint this cute little snail. And I am doing things a little bit different today. I am going to be using my Artistry pens. So first things first is we're just going to paint that nice thin layer. So you can just see how I'm going once over with the colour. And this is how we're going to start, start off. We don't want to go too thick too fast. But um, I'm using Artistro today because, as you know, I've, I've heavily tested um, paint pens, acrylic paint pens, and I like to use Posca, uh, some of the Tuli Art range, and Artistro pens. But a lot of people have noticed that I've been only using Posca pens in my tutorials. Now, the reason for that is because Posca is a matte finish. Uh, which means it's not very shiny and you can see here that my lights are bouncing off the paint so you can see there's this paint is quite shiny and the Tuli Art pens are shiny as well and see that bounce and it just gets a little bit distracting when you're taking photos and trying to do tutorials so the only reason why I do the tutorials in uh, Posca is for that reason but as I'm painting kindness rocks I always paint using one of these three brands I think they're all just brilliant I like all three three brands and some of the um, ones I don't pens I don't like but uh, the basic range in Tuli Art and Artistro are really great so I thought I'd better start showing you that I do use the other colors and uh, the only reason is the the bounce of the shine so which really doesn't matter because a lot of people go oh but I like shiny and it really doesn't matter because once you seal it you can buy the sealer in any finish you like you can have a high gloss finish you can have a matte sealer I love matte finishes so two out of three of my sealers are a matte uh, finish because that's what I like and um, yeah my other one is like super shiny so yeah it really doesn't matter you can seal it as you like it these have um, between a satin and a gloss finish on on the pen so you can see as it dries it's just uh, it's got a slight shine to it but it's not very high shine okay so you can see here there we go just get that white in you can see here I've just been doing one thin even layer of color and it's not all covered yet but it will be in a minute just get that. okay that was one coat and you can see here this is um, the second coat going on now so you can see as it dried I've missed out on some bits I didn't get my coloring in uh, perfected but I have let it dry and a lot of people say oh but I'm so impatient I don't want to let it dry you know if you paint like I do with this thin even layer by the time you've done all of the colors the original color will be dry enough for you to do the second coat um, so you're not, you don't need dryers you don't need to be waiting for ages I don't have a lineup of rocks waiting to go most of the time I will put a pause between doing the first coat and the second coat and that's because I'm drinking a cup of tea as I go. Um, not much else and it does get boring just watching me colour in the same thing for a couple of minutes. But today I really wanted to show you that I was how I am painting the layers so that you don't think that I'm going away and painting like four coats on I really only do do th these two coats of paint okay so you can see now that I've got a lot more you know the bits that I didn't quite color in properly before you can see I've filled them all in any bits that sort of soaked into the rock they all come good on this second layer everything's flowing perfect And they're good to go. I also wanted to show you how I do my blending with these pens because they're they're the fine point pens, right? So I've got a damp paint brush. I dipped it in water and I wiped off the excess water on my microfiber cloth at the top of my mat there. 
and I just blend those edges across. So I do exactly the same thing with these pens that I do on all my rocks on the tutorials each day. The only difference here is I'm scribbling straight onto the rock and I'm just blending that with a, a smush across with my damp paintbrush. And I've just decided to use the basic colors too. So a lot of people said, oh, I don't have, I can't buy all, lots of those fancy sets. You know, they've got too many colors. So the price bumps up a little bit. You can get in Artistro and Tuli Art, you can get a basic set of colors, which is going to have your red, orange, green, hang on, where are we? Red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, purple, you know, the, the basic colors of the rainbow, black and a white, you're gonna be able to pick that up at a really reasonable price. Okay, so you don't need a whole lot going on. You can see I've used red to do the shading on my orange shell. I'm using purple to shade on my green. I'm making do with those basic, um, what would it be? Seven colors and a black and a white, something like that. And it's all, it comes out and they look great. A lot of people see that like if I, usually if I shade a yellow, I might shade it in a darker yellow grab a photo for Facebook um, you know a lot of people are seeing that and saying well I don't have five shades of blue or I don't have five shades of green so I just wanted to show you with a basic set you can still achieve exactly the same fantastic rocks to share out in a, in a short space of time and I'm just using my black pen to do my outlines I'm adding some extra shading in on the join areas just to add a bit more sort of shadow see just in those corners I just blacken it up a little bit in the joins okay you don't have to do that that's just something that I like to do adding in bits of dots and dashes just giving just helping it get a little bit more depth okay we're going along I'm trying to create a thicker line so you'll see I am going back and forth trying to thicken it up a little bit if I wanted thin I would make sure my tip was clean and I would press lightly and I wouldn't go back and forth a couple of times over the same area here I see here I wanted a little bit thinner and so I only went around pressed just slightly uh, the white's still a bit wet yeah just slightly press slightly lighter and that, that's it this is what can happen if you go try to go over paint that's too wet. I had done my white a little bit too thick, but that's okay. We'll let that dry off and uh, I'll come back and fix that up. Let's see how we go. There we go. Okay, some little eyebrows and a crooked mouth. So every snail needs a crooked mouth. Okay, I'll pop around to his shell. So you can see I'm using the same techniques and I suppose what I wanted to show you today is you only need a basic set of colors to, you know, make some really cute rocks and you can be doing the shading and everything uh, with any of the brands that you can use any brand you like, but know that we have tested the Artistro, uh, Tuli Art and the Posca pens. They just come off easy to use easy to seal uh, and they last uh, really well outside in the UV light. Just adding dots, you know, nonsense dots and dashes just gives a little bit more sort of whimsical look and you can decide um, how to decorate him. I'm just going to put some rosy cheeks, you know, going over the cheek line. It's just being exaggerated in what I'm doing give it a little bit look of cuteness so you don't have to keep it within within the lines of the face because it is creating a whimsical sort of look and you can add your your white in and that's just a little bit of reflection and you can decide if you want want to write a word on your rock as well that's something that you might like to do Yeah, I might show you that in the photos. But come and join us in our group today at Reef Rocks Free Workshops and I'll see you there. Have a fabulous day.